Wow, Steve, I don't know about this, mate. I don't know if we're in cloud or mist or whether it's going to snow or what. But I'll tell you what, we're lucky because no matter what the weather does, boy, have we got some canvas to climb under here. This is unreal. This is a 2011 model then. Um, the tent's been around for about a year, but it's on our new 011 model trailer. And given the number of GIC campers out there and the fact that you've got over seven years experience building them, there must be a lot of cumulative knowledge gone into it. Have you changed anything at all? We've changed basically the guards. Every off-road trailer now is getting the double folded guards like on the Extreme Ranger from the high country. Um, and every trailer is getting all new off-road tyres, spare tyre included. I'll tell you what, we've seen how they perform in the high country, mostly thanks to you with all that low aerial work with the Hilux. Especially like this Extreme sitting here, it's full complete checker plate. Your chassis is 50 by 50 3 mil tube steel. Your drawbar is 100 by 50 3 mil tube steel. Uh, you've got military style, eye to eye rebound, shackle suspension. Pretty amazing. So we've got the double fold, we've got new tyres on new wheels. But apart from that, we're still looking at the great value for money package, aren't we? It certainly is. I think we should have a bit of a look through, eh? Let's go, mate. Good on you, mate. So this is the large room of the main fold-out section of the tent. I reckon. So this would be like, uh, for most people, this would be the kids' number one bedroom, I suppose. It is the kids' number one bedroom. Um, personally, I put two doubles and a single mattress in here to get my five kids in. I see this is fully fly screen then. You can get a fly screen here too? Yep, all the way around. And as you can see, they're all large windows, hot conditions. It really just lets the air flow all the way through. So you're not sitting in a tent or the kids aren't sweltering at night time either. Essentially, you zip the whole lot up. That's it, isn't it? You're not going to have any unfriendly visitors during the night. No, exactly. And it's heavy duty PVC flooring that comes up about 100 mil for moisture all around it. Hey, I like this. Wow. The skylight's unreal, isn't it? Because uh, I always tell people every weekend I seem to go camping. We've got drizzle or something, so I always watch <laughs> the ranger and the day and the stars at night. Yeah. And obviously you can just zip the canvas up so you don't get that morning sun beating through waking you up in the morning. And this is a privacy screen, obviously. It is a privacy screen, obviously, because the five kids are sleeping down here. <laughs> we just have this screen up continuously. And one of the things I like about this is all the ventilation. It's fantastic. It's just like the main tent there. You've got yep. ventilation both ends, both sides. And again, you can do your canvas up from the inside, so there's no reason to have to get up, go outside to do your canvas up. And you got one of these yourself, and you're a big guy. You fit here, no worries? Absolutely perfectly. No yeah. problem whatsoever. Room and for the wife? Room for the wife. They're uh, designed to take an inner spring mattress up to 15 centimetres high as well, so you can camp in absolute comfort. Oh, that's great, isn't it? And this room over the other side, I think we better go take a look at that. That looks pretty impressive too. People use it if they've got young, real young babies in cots and stuff like that. Storage area, dressing area. Yeah. Do with it what you will. What's this thing here on the side? Uh, side access to your trailer there, John. Oh, okay. That's impressive, mate, isn't it? You can get at everything along here. You can get your gas bottles, your jerry can, lock things in there, zip it back up, keep it away from mischievous people on campsites. <laughs> well, let's not go past my favourite bit, Steve. The kitchen. It's all right, mate. I've served a few meals off your kitchens. What, which one's this? This is our upgraded 304 food grade stainless steel, 1.9 metre bench kitchen. And what, what have we got here? We've got a space underneath? Just yeah, under, under storage. That's where I store all the pots and pans. And as far as cookers go, customers just choose whatever cooker suits them and lob it right here on the table. And the beauty of this tent is too, it's so big, you've got such high roofs, you can cook inside and it's just excellent. Don't worry about it. Yep. I know that because we had 11 people in here down the high country, didn't we? Yeah. But it warmed the tent up, didn't it? It stayed warm all night. Talking warm, this is just getting colder and colder for a Queenslander, mate. Can we stick the walls up? Let's stick the walls on before night call. By crikey, Steve, that's a lot of space under canvas, isn't it? It's a home away from home. It's fantastic, all nice and watertight. You've got two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one, two, three bedrooms. Then you put that centre screen in, you've got a separate kitchen, enough room for a billiards table over the other end. Tell me, what's the recommended retail price on what we're seeing here? On the extreme off-road trailer with the 18-foot tent, you're looking at only $6,900. And is that it? Do you need to do anything else to it? Or... Mate, I've just got to drive some pegs in around the floor, a bit more Velcroing and it's complete. Mate, I'm glad you mentioned drive because it's time for me to drive a bit of a deal from you. 
Now you know, you know what I'm capable of. I can disrupt production, I can turn the whole place into chaos. I'm gonna let you off pretty easy this time, mate. I really am. Nothing at all. Mostly because I'd like to just be settled in there and getting comfortable about now. Okay, scenes it's the new 2011 off-road trailer. Yep. And scenes the Ruthie special of the free kitchen and water tank was so successful for your readers last it time. We're gonna keep that going. So you're getting a stronger trailer, new off-road tires, steel kitchen, 60 litre water tank, on the extreme off-road 6,900. Just for four-wheel drive action readers. Correct. What's the water tank in the kitchen worth? Uh, $1,250. And let's assume that there's about 200, 250 bucks worth of extra value in the wheels and tires. Mm -hmm. It's a bargain. It's an absolute bargain. I like it. Drive those pigs in, Steve. I've let you off the hook. Wow, look at that. That is amazing value. I don't believe that Steve gave in so quickly, but I know why, because he knows these deals work. And you know why they work? Because four-wheel drive action readers and viewers know exactly what they want. A really strong trailer, and that trailer is better than last year's, and that was strong enough. And of course, for you, for 6,900 bucks, you're gonna get a steel kitchen and a water tank thrown in, because you're one of us. That, folks, is an amazing deal. Now look, I don't know how long they can keep doing those deals for, Get in quick because you just can't beat that for value for money.